Alrighty, uh, as you can see here, I have a product. It's a Zukov S stock. Uh, this is just an adjustable folding stock for the AK-47, AK-74 platform. Um, go ahead and open up the box. You get a manual, basically manual instruction set. Pretty simple. Um, get a wedge block uh, for the receiver. You get a little bit of hardware kit. And then you go ahead and get your stock. So what would lead somebody to want a stock like this? Uh, really, aesthetically, I think it's pleasing. Uh, biggest thing that I like about it is it is very firm. Uh, it is adjustable. So for length of pull requirements, uh, you have some adjustability. It's made of a very thick polymer, um, this bind hag pole. So they tend to have a pretty good track record. I believe, uh, I think it was Tim at Military Arms Channel, or maybe I'm misquoting that, but uh, froze one of these up pretty good and shattered it and broke it. But uh, for basic use, these are very solid, um, very tight and robust. Um, I've never had any real issues with a Magpul. Um, but yeah. Uh, and side feature is also the... Oh, God. It's tight. <sighs> Can't get it right now. But it is side folding. So um, it's an option. That's kind of an added bonus. I am more interested in, obviously, the adjustable stock nature. Uh, so... I can get it to that real compact length, or I can stretch it out. And uh, I'm not sure, you know, you, you do have some options for some cheek weld improvements as well. Um, that will clip on there uh, for your options. But, uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this on. My KR-103. Is there anything wrong with my existing KR-103? No, actually I really do like this stock. Uh, but for what I wanna do with this uh, particular rifle, uh, this will definitely suit my needs better. Um, that being said, you can purchase a KR-103 that already has the side folding option on it, and it's a factory Kalashnikov styled side folder. Um, you know, the button there and it folds the other way but that doesn't really lend itself very well uh, to folding it towards your optics rail here um, this Zukov stock folds this way and gives you lots of room um, but I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of background work and get this apart and put this on and give you my first impressions about it so I will be back in just a few. Okay, sidebar, uh, upon installation here and getting this apart, uh, in the instructions, they actually want you to put together in this orientation onto the rifle. Um, it's very tight from factory. Uh, I had to add a little bit of oil in here, and even then, it was really hard to get this apart uh, without having the leverage on the rifle. So hopefully it's a little easier because I had to use the end of a screwdriver and put pressure and finally get it to pop for pop forward so um yeah just something to note uh if you think it's uh never gonna go it will go it's just takes a second uh yeah so that's one thing to note all righty as you can see i do have the magpul zukov stock on there now uh in its current folded configuration. So one thing to note, you got plenty of clearance there. Uh, I mean, it might kiss the uh, safety lever and I don't think you can really operate the safety lever um, while it's folded, but in terms of folding it out, very positive click. Uh, I definitely like how it clicks in. Um, very nice. 
Uh, I think it looks nice on the rifle. Um, matches, you know, moderately with the polymer on there. Uh, I'm gonna do some different things to this one anyways. But in terms of, you know, adjustability, uh, that was what I was going for here. And in this setting right here, it is a sweet spot for me. So this will really, I think, increase, oh, increase the shootability. Uh, if there's one thing that I could know, it's that <laughs> this comes very tight, so you might want to throw a little bit of oil in there. And my only gripe is it's a little hard to get this guy here oh, to slide it. I mean, I can, I can get it, but it's just, just not a lot of motion and you don't have a lot of travel. So I guess if there's only one thing I'd have to say, maybe it'll get a little easier as I use it uh, and shoot it. But um, in terms of fitment and everything, it really fits there nice. Uh, I think it looks nice. Um, I don't have any gripes about quality wise. Um, like I said, it fit together pretty nice. Installation was decent, uh, except for the uh, trying to fold it. It was really hard without anything on it. But it does have a positive click in the folding aspect as well. So, and you can shoot it like this. So you got plenty of clearance down here uh, for your hand to hit the trigger. Um, you got plenty of room here to, yeah, plenty of room here to hook and charge the rifle. Um, and yeah, um, caught my light there. Uh, but yeah, so <clears throat> very nice. And I do like the fact that it does have a QD mount, um, at least some options there. I believe that these ones, yeah, you gotta add an accessory here to be able to hook up there. Uh, but yeah, so I don't know, let me know what you guys think. Uh, Maybe it's sacrilege. Maybe you guys like the uh, the old stock that I had on there. I'm definitely gonna keep it. That's my next part of the video here is never, I repeat, never throw away these old parts. Um, you might change your mind. Um, maybe someday you'll throw a kit build together or something, you'll need it. Um, but I don't really, <laughs> I don't know, uh, I'm definitely gonna keep it. It's not the only stock that I have uh, that I kept. Maybe I'll throw it on another rifle someday uh, that, you know, this would be a marked improvement on than what I had. So, but like I said, just for my build, I'm gonna go ahead and put this away and keep it in storage. But for what I'm planning with this rifle, I definitely like the look and uh, I think it'll serve me well. So thanks for watching and let me know what you guys think.